laundry service was a testament to the fact that I was able to do anything that, that my... Inside Shakira's houses from her Barcelona home to Miami Mega Mansion, Shakira has come a long way from her modest childhood in Colombia. With an impressive career that started when she was just 13 years old, it's no surprise that the star has built up an impressive portfolio over the years, spanning the globe. Some of that property was bought with her long-term partner Gerard Peake. But things might be about to get tricky now the pair have split. Let's retrace Shakira's road to fame, step foot inside some of the amazing homes, and see how the former couple might be dividing up their multi-million dollar portfolio. Where does Shakira live? Shakira lives in the exclusive Pedrobs neighborhood of Barcelona, where she has been spending her time since the coronavirus pandemic. As you would expect from one of the world's most famous pop stars, she also owns property in Miami Beach, Uruguay and the Bahamas. With enormous wealth at her disposal, she's collected an incredible roster of jaw-dropping real estate over the years. But the star was born into such palatial surroundings. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. This is awesome. Knock yourself mm. out. Mm, thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank so you lovely so to meet you. <laughs> Shakira's career. Shakira resumed her music career in 1995 and released two more albums, Pies Descalzos and then Don Estem Las Laderones. In 1998, both included hit singles, the star still wanted to break into the American music industry. In 2001, her fifth album Unplugged won the Grammy Award for Best Latin Pop Album. But it was her next record, Laundry Service, that really kick-started her international career. Her first English-language album sold more than 13 million copies worldwide, with her career finally setting off. It was time for the songstress to invest in some serious real estate. Shakira's Uruguay Farm In 2000, a year before her hit single Whenever, Wherever hit the charts, Shakira started dating Antonio de la Rua, the son of the former Argentine president Fernando de la Rua. The couple were often spotted staying on their sprawling farm in the small fishing village of Ferro José Ignacio in Uruguay. It is not known when the singer snapped up the property or how much she paid, but we do know that in 2008 she holed up there to begin work on a new album. Shakira's Uruguay farm, set on over 12 acres of land. The home was up for rent until recently, giving us a sneak peek inside. With seven bedrooms, four in the main home and two in the guest house, plus one in a single third building. There's also room for four staff to sleep. The star described the farm as idyllic and very romantic in an interview perfect for inspiring her writing process. Shakira's Uruguay Farm. Inside, the main house has a cinema, work office, and a gym. It was also reported that Shakira built a recording studio within the grounds so she could work on her music. Sitting within the tiny village of Ferro José Ignacio, the star would have had some famous neighbors, with the likes of the Rolling Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood holidaying in the area. Shakira's first Florida mansion. As soon as she hit the big time in 2001, Shakira started building her luxury property portfolio. In June of that year, she snapped up this Mediterranean-style estate located in the prestigious gated community on Florida's Lagos Island for a reported $1.1 million, PS 80 tick, home to big-name stars such as Cher, Matt Damon, and Billy Joel. Shakira would have been a wonderful addition to the local celebrity roster of residents. Shakira's first Florida mansion, spread over 2,700 square feet, it was the perfect home for the star, who would now be spending much more time stateside working on becoming the next huge crossover Latin artist. With stunning detail inside, the arched doorway leads through to the main double-height living space with built-in shelving and a feature staircase leading to the upper floor. Shakira's first floor to mansion, with clean white walls and stone floors, this open-plan living space boasts a gloss white kitchen, a small dining area and a comfortable living space with double doors that lead out to the garden. Shakira's first Florida mansion, with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The upper floor is the perfect calm oasis. The master bathroom boasts his inner sinks, huge floor-to-ceiling mirrors and a luxurious walk-in shower. Shakira's first Florida mansion. Outside, the garden may be on the smaller side, but boasts a swimming pool surrounded by decking and lush foliage. The super private home would have been perfect for the pop star but sitting on less than half an acre of land. Shakira was looking for more and decided to sell up in 2005 for $1.8 million. Peace zone point form, making quite the profit. Although maybe the star should have kept hold of the property as an investment piece, it's on the market again. But this time for $6.5 million. PS5.2, Shakira's Miami Beach Mansion. In September 2001, just not long after her first Miami Beach purchase, Shakira snapped up the stunning home in the same area. Spanning over 8,000 square feet, 
The home sits on the prestigious North Bay Road and was bought by the singer for just shy of $3.4 million, PS 2.7 of SL. A slight upgrade from her first purchase, Shakira's Miami Beach Mansion. Shakira made sure to renovate the mansion over the years and reportedly made a number of upgrades including hardwood floors imported from Spain, a new front door, updated landscaping, and brand new lighting systems for inside and out. Shakira's Miami Beach Mansion. The double front doors open out into the roomy open-plan dining area which boasts a wall lined with windows, a minimalist fireplace, and a lowered ceilings over the dining area. Elsewhere there's a fitness room that looks out onto the driveway, an office with a built-in desk, and an entertainment wing, which is decked out with state-of-the-art sound equipment and an all-white pool table. Shakira's Miami Beach Mansion The sleek kitchen boasts modern white cabinets and gleaming shiny steel appliances. The wide center island is the perfect social space while the floor-to-ceiling windows look out over the leafy patio. Elsewhere, the home boasts six bedrooms and eight bathrooms, which would be more than big enough for any pop star's entourage. Shakira's Miami Beach Mansion After being in the home for 12 years, Shakira decided to put it up for rent at a huge $45,000, PS 36 a month. She then listed it for sale the same year for just shy of $13 million, East End Point Form, to then up the price in 2015 to $13.9 million, P. 11.1. After struggling to sell, she listed the home again in February 2021 for $15.9 million. P.S. 12.7. Shakira's private island. Fast forward to 2011 and rather than buying another mega mansion, Shakira made a bold real estate bet on purchasing a share in a private island. The singer pooled together with Pink Floyd's Roger Waters and Spanish singer Alejandro Sanz to purchase the retreat for a reported $15 million. P.S. 12. With plans to build luxury hotels, condos, and golf courses, turning it into the ultimate artist retreat, Shakira's private island. With five white sandy beaches and three salt ponds, the island known as Bonds K is part of the Berry Islands in the Bahamas. The small patch of paradise is spread over 550 acres of tropical landscape with multiple waterfalls, three bays, and a number of lagoons. Shakira's private island, Vladdy Private Islands, as well as suing the star for his work on her business. Her former partner Antonio was also reportedly involved in the sale and development of Bonds K. In 2013, Shakira allegedly sued her ex-partner for taking $6.7 million, PS5.4 without her permission, which included $500,000, PS400 that was put towards a real estate project on the island that she was not part of. Shakira's marital home, Google Earth. Shakira met her most recent partner, footballer Jared Peake with whom she would go on to have two sons, Sasha and Milan, on the set of her Waka Waka video in 2010. In 2015, the couple splashed out a reported $5.9 million, PS4.7 on a mansion in Barcelona's plush Pedrobs neighborhood. Spread over 1,500 square feet, the home boasts seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a swimming pool with a waterfall, a gym, and a whole host of other amenities. Shakira's marital home, at Shakira Instagram, however, but hasn't been all plain sailing for the star. And she suffered a heavy dose in June 2018. The luxury mansion was targeted by burglars, with a couple away. Peek's parents were sleeping upstairs when the home was raided, with the criminals coming away with expensive watches and jewelry. Shakira's marital home, at 3 Guard Peak Instagram, described as one of the best houses in the city, the house is set over three floors and was renovated by the couple before they had their first child in January 2013. The famous pair regularly shared sneak peeks into their private life on Instagram, with Jared Sr. sitting in an all-white living space with an electric piano keyboard in the background. Shakira's marital home at Shakira Instagram In 2018, Shakira was also charged with tax evasion by Spanish authorities, accused of failing to pay around $16.4 million. He sell 11.8 million in taxes between 2012 and 2014. The singer had listed her official residence as the Bahamas but spent most of her time in Spain, according to a report by Forbes. Under Spanish law, anyone living in the country for more than six months a year must pay taxes. The court case rumbles on. Robert Marquardt contributor Getty Images, pictured as Shakira leaving after one of her court appearances in 2019. She denied any wrongdoing that year, but reportedly paid up when the court found Spain to be her main residence. The singer had appealed the ruling, but that appeal was dismissed in May this year. The case looks set to rumble on though, as Shakira's legal team will reportedly continue to defend her innocence. Shakira faces a possible fine and a prison sentence if found guilty of tax evasion.
But back to the singer's properties. Shakira's holiday home, worldwide property sales. Most recently, towards the end of 2019, Shakira and her then-partner bought a new build villa in one of their favorite holiday spots, the island of Cyprus in the Mediterranean Sea. Set to be completed this year, the villa is located in the luxury cap St. George's Resort, which overlooks the Sea of Akamas near Paphos. Shakira's Holiday Home, Worldwide Property Sales Located opposite a brand new five-star hotel, Shakira and her family have been seen traveling back and forth to Cyprus over the years, so it's about time they put down some permanent digs in the holiday spot. The new holiday home will see them enjoy two kilometers of beachfront, a spa and fine dining options in the swanky restaurants and bars nearby. Shakira's Holiday Home, worldwide property sales, with prices starting at $2.3 million. P-Zone Point Adam, the holiday spot is the largest seafront resort in Cyprus. It has 150 villas, a clubhouse with luxury facilities and services including 24-hour reception and concierge services, security, a spa, gym, bar, restaurant, and sporting facilities such as tennis and basketball courts, cycling, horse riding, a service beach and kids playground. Shakira's Holiday Home, worldwide property sales. According to reports, the eight-bathroom, six-bedroom villa with stunning views is the idyllic holiday location, with a home cinema, private gym, jacuzzi, private pool, and wine cellar. It's the perfect place to take a break. Shakira's Holiday Home, worldwide property sales. The palatial spread will also feature gardens overlooking the sea, with the pool providing stunning sunset views come evening. The question is what will happen to this property and others owned by the family now that Shakira and Peek have split. Splitting up the properties, Gabriel Bowie's contributor, Giddy Images. The couple confirmed in early June that they would be separating. They asked that the media respect the privacy of their sons, who are now seven and nine years old. Speculation about the pair's relationship had cropped up over the years and Shakira and Gerard have both been asked why they never married. Most recently, Peek said it was Shakira's mentality, but that they work good as a couple. They certainly work well as property investors if nothing else. So what could happen to their expansive portfolio? Splitting up the properties, Alex Pantling, staff, Getty YMAGF. This private pair haven't given away any details about where they'll be living now or what will happen to their residences. The next step will depend on how the pair bought their properties. As they're not married, it all comes down to whose names are on the deeds. If they each have equal stakes in the residences, maybe they'll sell them off and split the profits or perhaps they will keep hold of the properties and continue to use them as homes and holiday retreats with their children. Splitting up the properties, Gotham, contributor, Getty Images. One thing is clear, with their vast collection of homes and an island, the ex-lovers won't need to spend any time together if they don't want to. Hopefully the divvying up of assets will be smoother than the tumultuous time Shakira has had with her exes in the past.